considering. It's meme review, the most relevant show on YouTube. PewDiePie, please don't be a Dr. Phil and sue me. But first... Okay, so I have a disclaimer. Okay, first meme. Acid Rain. Oh man, I rate that a zero because it's unoriginal, okay? So yeah, if you haven't figured about uh, figured out by now, all the memes are gonna be about acid rain because it's for biology project. Next meme, you've discovered that factories and cars cause acid rain. What will you do, governments? We handle it by not handling it. Okay, very cool. So, well, to be fair, there is a way to deal with it, but more about that later. I rate that's. I read this meme, let's say a 6, because I didn't really like it, like the noon format to be in the first place. Okay. So, next meme. Hold up. A few moments later. Why can't we find a guy like this? Dissociated sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid in molecule form. Hey, original person, no. Biology noobs, he's literally the guy in the pic. Yeah, sorry, sulfurous acid. You don't actually exist in molecule form. You always exist in the dissociated form. So yeah, I like this one. I like this one. I'll raise it an eight. So since this is for biology, sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form sulfurous acid, which then reacts with oxygen to form sulfuric acid, which acidifies the rain. Okay, so next meme. People, carbon dioxide only causes global warming, acid rain. Allow us to introduce ourselves. Okay, this one's pretty funny, I guess. I'll rate it as seven. Okay, I'm, I'm terrible at doing meme review, but um, it's a dead meme, so not a ten, but nobody cares. So. And next, wait, is actually, I can't meme everything part one, sorry about that. Okay, so, the combustion of fossil fuels such as in power plants and cars emits sulfur dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen oxides. And do these reactions over here, do you get them? Okay, so these reactions, uh, they form sulfuric acid, carbonic acid, and nitric acid, which acidify the rain. And... Those are the causes of acid rain, so let's move on. Next, actually, I've got to go to school in 15 minutes, so, um, no more memes, guys. I've got to rush B. Consequences of acid rain. Firstly, they damage the waxy cuticle of plants, which, uh, of leaves, which causes the leaves to dry out, so the plants die. Uh, next, they acidify the soil and make it too toxic, uh, for many organisms, and the same happens for lakes and rivers as well. Uh, which disrupts food chains and ecosystems. Um, thirdly, they cause nutrients to leach out of the soil, uh, which makes it less fertile. Uh, and those will leach toxic metals out of the soil into marine ecosystems, uh, which kill a lot of animals. And lastly, they corrode metal and stonework, which makes it look bad, and also it might cause some structural damage. There are several ways to prevent acid rain. So firstly, scrubbers can be installed in power plants uh, to remove sulfur dioxide from the exhaust. Secondly, catalytic converters break up nitrogen oxides into nitrogen and oxygen, which are harmless because they make up 99% of the air. And lastly, um, restricting the use of fossil fuel um, lowers the amount of acid rain because it solves the root problem, right? It solves the, like, it solves the root problem of why the pollutants are emitted in the first place. What? You've never joined WSC before? <sighs> you know what's fun, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but give it a try. Then you can tell me if it's good or not. Not convinced yet? Okay, I'll cut you a deal. The school is offering training sessions for free, <laughs> and that's a great price.